Hey, 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 welcome to the DPP channel. Today we have another amazing game from the stream day, a Shine Greymon vs. War Greymon, the Battle of the Greymons. Now, spoiler alert, honestly, this build of Shine Greymon is definitely interesting and tickles me in a very good way. However, this deck might not be relevant after the ban list that will be announced soon next week. Now, if you are interested in a ban list prediction video, do let me know in the comments section down below. Now, so without further ado, let's dive right into the game itself as we do see the Coromon and then actually evolve into the Greymon already, passing back two memory to the left player. Now, the thing about Shine Greymon that really is interesting is because how Marcus Damon has a very strong effect whereby when it just gets suspended, you can actually evolve your Digimon into a Digimon with Greymon in his name in your hand for basically free. Essentially, this does mean that you can actually play any variant of the Shine Greymon deck without having to be a Shine Greymon deck as long as the end boss monster is a yellow Digimon that has Greymon in its name. So you do see actually Cool Boy coming down which is one of the factors that I find that it was very interesting to witness especially in a Shine Greymon deck. So he actually plays a Cool Boy as well as an X package of the Greymon family. This adds an additional search engine for the deck as well as memory control and of course drawing power. So this is definitely a very interesting spice introduced by the left player here. And if you guys actually don't know, the left player here is actually Paddy from Cup Protagonist. So I'm very sure most of you guys would already know him. So he does go for the Red Rain Boost here looking at top 4. He does pick up the level 4 Greymon from BT5 which basically allows you to evolve to the Greymon for just one cost. And we do see 3 memory pass to the right player. Now the right player is actually playing the Meta Core, which is the War Greymon deck. Essentially, this is just about the Greymon X because Greymon X allows you to reduce the cost based on the number of colors they're going to evolve to, usually just two colors. And then the Meta Greymon, the level 5, is just three cost. So essentially, it's just a one cost Evo and definitely really breaks the game for most players. Now, he does have a lot of options here. You can actually go for the Tie Tamer in his hand or just basically going for two Agumons to search for more pieces. In his hand, he is actually backing just the level 6, so not too bad, but he does go for the tie to just memory choke the left player for just one. However, the left player does have Marcus Damon in his hand, and Marcus Damon is a 4 cost tamer. Of course, he doesn't guarantee memory for the next turn, however, with the Agumon in nursery, he can actually push the Agumon out, make the Marcus Damon a Digimon in the same turn, and then Marcus Damon can actually help you evolve for basically free, essentially like a memory tamer. So he does actually have the play to actually just go for the Red Rain Boost already but however he's just going to ignore it and just go for the Marcus Damon. This creates a very awkward situation for the right player especially after he draws another argument from the top of his deck. So he's basically going back to what he could have previously done which is basically calling two Agumons to search out the entire deck. He does call the first Agumon here looking at top 4 which allows you to pick up a Greymon or the Omimon. He does pick up the War Greymon which is definitely lacking in his hand right now. Gonna add that to hand and the War Greymon is definitely a very strong card in this set, or rather in general because it does have the straight effect. He's gonna have play another Agumon this time around from the BT12 one which allows him to actually search for Greymon as well as a Marcus Daemon but of course there's no Marcus Daemon in the deck. He essentially just play for the Meta Greymon search. He does pick up the Meta Greymon and of course he has to read it again to clarify whether he can actually pick up the Tai Chi Tamer. He is definitely a very important card in the deck itself as well. So with that, he actually passed 3 memory to a left player and that's where things go crazy because when the Marcus Damon deck do actually have 3 memory to work with, they can explode pretty well. You're gonna see it happening in this very turn. So the Agumon will push out and not using his effect immediately to make Marcus Damon basically an attacker. He's gonna evolve to the Agumon X any body first. This does allow him to draw one of course. He's gonna use the Cool Boy first to push into 4 memory and of course drawing additional 1 card. Now using the Agumon X Anybody effect, you can review the top 3 cards and of course add a Greymon or X Anybody to your hand. Looks like he does actually pick up the Agumon X which I think he's going to realize is going to be a mistake so he does immediately notice it. So he's going to pick up the Greymon X instead adding it to hand and the deck actually does play Venus Mon as well. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, you can use Marcus Damon to actually evolve your Venus Mon into a Shine Greymon Rune Boat if you really do wish to. And there's no restriction for that. So that's the very nice part of the whole deck. Now he's going to evolve to the Greymon which I mentioned earlier also. It's going to be a one cost evolution. Very good evo. And with that, he can actually evolve to the Greymon X which he actually picked up earlier in the same turn as well. So Greymon X actually also allows you to evolve for a very cheap cost, especially in the Shine Greymon deck. He can evolve to the Rise Greymon which is essentially a Greymon as well. So it's going to be a 2 cost evo even though it was 4 cost at first. But Rise Greymon does have a very strong effect when upon digivolving, if you do have a red or yellow tamer on the field, you can actually gain 1 memory, pushing back to 2 memory. Now with a level 5 on the field, this is where things get very interesting. So he's going to use the memory boost to push into 4 memory here. 
Now with 4 memory, he definitely can have a lot of room to do things. He's gonna go for the Shine Greymon from the BTO2 to actually rest the Marcus Daemon, but of course he's gonna draw on first to prevent any mistakes. Now Shine Greymon from BTO2 actually rests all your Yellow Tamers, especially the Marcus Daemon. And when Marcus Daemon is actually rested, you can actually evolve to a Shine Greymon or rather Yellow Digimon Greymon from your hand for basically free calls. And that's where the Rural Mode comes in clutch, so it does apply a 5k blanket on top of the field. It's gonna swing in the same turn as well. So essentially, it's allowing him to actually pop the Shine Greymon and Shine Greymon will allow him to actually apply a 10k negative debuff on top of the opponent field and this stops any potential play from the Nursery Digimons. So essentially, when the Greymon X does get pushed out, it's going to instantly die and that's not what the right player will want despite it being the best play for most of the time. Now, Rumor also hatch a Nursery Digimon for you, in this case, the Digitama. He does evolve to the Agumon in Nursery and he's going to hard play the Greymon X. Now, the hard play Greymon X is actually very smart because your opponent actually can't react to it anyway. So, hard playing the Greymon X, having it on the field, really sets up for the Rise Greymon in the next turn and the right player can't really do anything about it. Except playing the Red Memory Boost here, he's going to look at top 4. You do see the Agumon X, Greymon, as well as Greymon X, as well as the Meta Greymon X. Okay, in his hand, actually, I will pick the Greymon X, sorry, the Metal Greymon X personally because it's something that you can actually follow up with, but he does opt for the Greymon, the level 4, and just gonna add it to hand. Unfortunately, this time you can actually play it down because of the 10k blanket debuff from the Rural Mode. Now, the Rural Mode does really ruin games, huh? Now, we do see the Metal Greymon actually coming down, evolving nursery, but however, there was a misplay here, of course. He should have just passed one memory to the left player and not actually help him to push the tree. So there might be a miscommunication there whereby they mistook it that the Marcus Damon was a memory tree tamer. So my advice to all of you is to always let your opponent do the memory counter or the memory gain and then just manage from there because you don't really want to assume things for your opponent and things might go very haywire from there. Now we do see the Agumo is coming down, evolving on top of the Agumo and it's going to use a cool boy of course. This cool boy does push him back to 3 memory because he did pay 1 memory for the Marcus Damon. Now he's going to draw or rather use the effect to look at top 3 and we do see 2 room modes. So one of the room modes is going to get to his hand and the other one will be going to the bottom of the deck. And the room mode really, if he can do it one more turn, the opponent will not be able to play the game at all. However, looking at his hand, he definitely can use the Grimoire X to his advantage after all because he does have the Rise Grimoire X. The Rise Greymon X, upon digivolving, you actually can play a Tamer for free. In this case, that will be the Marcus Daemon. So we actually opt to play it. He does actually have the memory to do so anyway. So he does go for the Rise Greymon X for two costs, thanks to the Greymon X. This allows him to play a Tamer from his hand. In this case, that will be the Marcus Daemon. And you guys already know what's up, because Marcus Daemon is going to come down and play. Marcus Daemon will swing at the security first. When he's suspended, it can actually allow you to evolve to a level 6 Digimon. In this case, the Shine Greymon. So the same thing will happen. Resting that Marcus Damon once again, allowing him to evolve to the room mode. So a second room mode in a row, and this is definitely gone for the right player because the right player doesn't have the necessary setup. It's just gonna be food against the room mode. It's gonna swing the room mode here, and of course it's gonna die you no know, matter what. Even though if it dies to a Gaia Force or anything, it's gonna proc the on deletion effect, which will apply another 5k debuff. And the left player is already at 7 security while the right player is only at 2 and things are not looking too good as he does set up another argument in nursery really preparing to swing at the security in the next turn. So how we actually pass the turn, he actually can have a lot of play, he can actually hard play another level 4 which he previously did because the right player will have no way of punishing it. However, he might just actually just swing with the argument X first. You know, swing at security, gonna hit to 1. He does die but it doesn't really matter because the left player is setting up for his guaranteed win the next turn. He's gonna just play another Marcus Damon, and Marcus Damon can actually push himself to be an attacker as long as you have an Agumon on the field or a Greymon on the field. So the right player is definitely stunned or rather don't really have much move to make. He's gonna actually evolve the level 6 in a nursery and that's actually pretty sad to see because he does draw into another Agumon. He can't actually make any move at all and this is when he actually attempts to play the on playability of the Agumon. So a ruling for you guys is that when a Digimon with negative DP reaches the field, it doesn't actually proc the on play effect, it's gonna immediately go to the trash. So that's why the rumor is so good because once you apply a negative debuff on top of your opponent's field, your opponent will be locked off the on play ability of every single card they have in the game. So if you guys haven't already checked out in the previous video, the Kuzuhaman player actually applied a 15k debuff on top of the Royal Knight deck. So the Royal Knight actually doesn't have any play to make from there. And I recommend you guys to check it out. Now the Marcus Damon is going to go to battle here alongside the Agumon and the Marcus Damon will secure the win for the Shine Greymon. 
Now this is the Shine Greymon decklist if you guys are interested in. Now what makes it very interesting is definitely the Cool Boy as well as the X package really seals the deal for the deck because you can actually have more search engines. Now thank you guys for watching till the end and do consider subscribing, dropping a like and a comment if you guys do enjoy the content.